My name is Alexis Tucker. I'm going to be talking to you guys today about education. Now, after 12 years of force of going to school, why would you know anybody want to further their education by choice? Education plays a major role in lifestyles of people today. Now, I've been in school for about 12 years. I went to college for two years. I got a corporate job. I left college, went back, and then I left my job to finish my education. So we're going to take a walk down memory lane, you know, our back to our first day of kindergarten. Nobody really remembers kindergarten, but, you know, it's, it was simple. You go to your parents, dropped you off at school, you cried, stayed there for a little while, parents pick you up, and that was that. Now, as each grade goes on, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit harder. Going to school in America nowadays to most kids is like, a prison sentence you're there 12 years give or take good behavior you know you're out school is where we learn school is pretty much broken up into grades for a second third all the way through 12 further to show competency of like understanding what you've been taught and the knowledge you've been taught you'll end up being retained until you can demonstrate that you've obviously understood and grasped what has been taught to you Education in the United States is a requirement, it's not a choice, it's not negotiable. Your parents can go to jail if you don't go to school. And without school, jobs don't want to hire you because they feel you have no basic education or basic skills to become hired. Now we're going to fast forward to a high school graduation. After completing those 12 years of school, what's next? Typically, what's next is depends on your family, your friends, your environment. Because these people and these things can really alter your future decisions. If you were raised in a household with parents that pushed education, then the next step is simply college, trade or vocational school, you know, something in regards to furthering your education. If you're raised in a household that pushed work and paying bills and providing, then nine times out of ten, a job is your next goal. The environment you're raised in this plays a very big role. If you were raised in a two parent household, a suburban area, your own room and you got to eat food for pleasure, you're going to have a different outlook on things compared to somebody, a single parent home, impoverished area, sharing rooms, and eating for survival. Now, even with these parents, these environments, there's successful people and unsuccessful people with both of these backgrounds. The difference between the two is that successful people have a mindset that's more open. They're not looking at their situation as a disadvantage. They're going to look at it like, Hey, I'm in this situation, but this is not where I have to be. Um, these people take advantage of their environment. The unsuccessful people, they're very closed-minded. They're looking at their situation in front of them. Nothing um, for the future, nothing really from the past. They're just dealing with what's in front of them, how they're going to make it, how they're going to make ends meet. They use their environment to a disadvantage. Now, what is one thing that American cannot take from us in regards to uh, gender, race, religion, etc. That's education. Education and hope. Education, regardless of, for example, I'm an African American woman. Being African American is one thing, and being a woman is a complete another. Being both is a hard thing in today's society. Education is something that they cannot take from me. America cannot take from me. No one can take from me because at the end of the day, my education. Is something that my ancestors fought for, that women that aren't even my color fought for me to have. And they may belittle me for being a woman. They may not pay me enough for being a woman. But the one thing they can't do is tell me I don't have an education. They can't treat me like I don't have an education. In regards to hope, they can't take hope away from anybody. Again, regardless of gender, race, whatever. And after considering all the advantages of these things, are you going to further your education? Are you going to go to college? Are you going to go to trade school? Are you going to start reading more books? Are you going to start trying to understand something new? Are you going to try to f catch up on things that are old? You don't have to go to college to get an education. It's really just about dedicating time to learning something new or again, brushing up on things that you already knew. I quit my job because I wanted to finish pursuing school. That was the hardest decision I've ever had to make. You know, people think with my opportunities and my background that, oh, this was just something I was going to do. My boyfriend, comes from a completely different background as me 
completely different mindset as me, completely different everything as me, but we both agreed on the same thing. There was some, one thing that was in our minds that was the same, and that was we were not going to let our environment, good or bad, determine where we were going to be, how we were going to grow. He's in the same position as me. He was in a different environment. He was in a single-parent household, and we're both in college right now. He's actually working on his master's degree, and I'm finishing my bachelor's degree. So even with that being said, he took the opportunity to further his education for himself for the people back home and that's with the circumstances that's with the environment he was in that was with his parents that that your that circumstance did not stop him from being where he is that that circumstance of me even having everything that I needed to you know be successful did not still stop me from where I am now so ultimately if you choose education as furthering where you want to go that everyone has that option and in conclusion Again, don't let your parents, your environment, your friends or anything stop you from educating yourself. That's something that the world can never take from you.